Hey guys, uh, as we saw in the last video, we had the two pistons, the forge piston on the left and the stock piston on the right, and we were looking at how to upgrade the Lance 250 go-kart. Uh, the Lance 250 buggy is widely known as the BMS, uh, it's sold in a one version, one passenger and two passenger version, and it uses the Helix clone engine, uh, the Honda engine, and we were looking in the last video how to remove the stock cylinder. Well, we've removed it, and now we're going to install the racing cylinder by MRP and the big forged piston with the big valves. And here we are. We're going to add the rings that come in the kit to the piston, the forged piston. Make sure they're in there; they're nice and tight. And once you got them in there, we're going to we're going to uh, proceed. Uh, make sure that they're um, they're put in the right spot. We're going to proceed to put them inside the cylinder kit and uh, make sure the rings go inside the grooves and that they're they're tighten and they're put in correctly. As we proceed, um, we're going to insert the piston pin and we're also going to lube the cylinder. You want to make sure that it's lubed and it's well lubricated before you even begin to put the piston in there. Uh, make sure it's nice and coated all around. Spin that cylinder. Make sure that it has a good, good coating uh, before you install it. Okay, now that it's got all the rings on there, we're going to put it inside the cylinder. You should have gotten some clips and the piston pin when you got the upgrade kit. Make sure those are installed before you put it in. Uh, slide those in. Put that baby back into the uh, into the piston and back into the cylinder. Okay, as you can see here. Now we're going to proceed and we're going to move on to connecting everything inside the Lance 250 go-kart with your big four cylinder and your forged piston. Alright, make sure that the cylinder and piston are put inside and they're on the correct rods. Uh, as you can see we have a tool here that's holding the chain in place for the cam. Um, we're going to continue, as you slide it back in, we're going to use that chain. We're going to pull it out because eventually we have to connect it. Now we're going to put the gaskets back on the cylinder tip. So put the gaskets on, make sure they're on there correctly. Seal them if possible. And hold on to that chain. Once we put the head on, you're going to need that chain. We're still pulling the chain through the head and um, we're going to adjust the valves, we're going to connect everything and then we're going to connect the, the timing chain after we adjust everything we're going to connect the timing chain to the camshaft. Everything's been tightened. Now go make sure uh, you find the cam. Put the cam back in. Uh, the stock cam should work just fine with this uh, upgrade kit. Make sure it's lined up correctly.
All right, proceed. Put the cover on and uh, put in all the screws to tighten the head to the cylinder to the engine. Once you've uh, connected everything, make sure you put in the screws. There's the screws are in. Make sure they're nice and tight. Make sure that the throttle is working and yeah, that you can turn it on. And let's proceed to turning on the engine and testing it out. Seems like we uh, did everything correctly and now uh, it's working. Remember that this uh, Lance 250 already has the improved variator clutch that Dr. Paul said is So there's a lot of things that we upgraded on this 250, including the MRP uh, basic CDI. Uh, it seems it's running great, so we tested it out. You can see it does have a little bit of quicker response and more power. And uh, if you will be going out in the sand and mudding, make sure to upgrade to the MRP in your forged piston center kit for the CM250s. It works on the Lance 250. Remember that, it works on the Lance 250 go-kart. It's, uh, it will work on any Helix clone Honda 250 engine. Uh, make sure that you ask for it by name. It's the MRP piston that you want. It's forged, as you can see here on the left-hand side. The smaller stock ones are going to be flat. The MRP one's going to be big. So make sure you get it. You have more power and more performance. You can get it only at your local buggy dealership. We do not sell to the public. You can visit us at www.mrp-b.com or call us at 305-599-8993 for your closest dealer. Have a great day, guys.